What is up, FTF crew? It's your boy Nick back with another rip on the channel. Another, my second mega box I'm going to be ripping for you guys today of prestige. But more importantly than that, this is for a. This is a big deal here. We are in bracket fantasy sport cards, fantasy rip league for this upcoming season. Now, as you can see here, basically what that entitles is I'm going to be ripping this box of prestige and creating a fantasy lineup from said cards pulled pretty cool right sweet concept uh, I, I didn't come up with it so i'm not going to take the credit but i did join the league this year um i'll link bracket fantasy sports cards uh site down below he ripped a hobby box is certified for his first lineup awesome cool we're pretty hyped for some football this year as i'm sure you guys are and this is one way to do it. I mean, I love fantasy football. I've been playing fantasy football my whole life. So, really was a no-brainer to join this league. Um, now, uh, there are multipliers for what you can pull when you rip. Um, which got cut off by my printer for whatever reason. If we get a one one it's a 10 times multiplier if we use that player. Jersey numbered card is a 7 times multiplier. Autograph card is a 6 times multiplier. Bookend which is a, you know, a 1 of 149 or a 149 of 149. That's a 5 times multiplier, you know, and so on and so forth. Numbered cards get higher. Parallel cards get less. All that fun stuff. I'm going to leave this up. I think it's not really in the way, right? But we're going to go ahead and rip into this mega box today. Pretty cool stuff. Honestly, the league is going to be a lot of fun. I know uh, Hasa Cards is in it. Uh, I think Spurs Cards 21 is in it as well. There's some decent, different bigger channels than me. That's for sure, which is exciting. But uh, Prestige Mega Box off of the Target website. I have not seen these available anywhere else as of yet, um, which I guess is a good sign. We get 40 cards per pack or per per box. You're gonna get an auto in here. You're gonna get about five numbered cards per box, which is awesome. These things are loaded, people. Honestly, if you have the chance to get it, I would highly recommend. Is it gonna fit without knocking over Deadpool? No, that's fine. We'll put them off to the side. But yeah. So basically, I'm going to rip this, uh, rip these four packs, show you guys what I got. I'm going to pause and come back later and set my lineup. So, after doing some research, since everybody seems to be getting hurt currently this year, which is no fun, uh, to start us off here, we got a Christian Wilkins, okay, a Brandon Cooks, Gardner Minshew, and our first parallel card is a Darius Slayton, extra points. And our next one is a, a Jeremiah Owosu Kurama. Linebacker. Parallel. Not bad. Okay. And our first numbered card here. Looks like a purple. Trevor Lawrence. What? Let's go. That's huge. Sweet. All right. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> we'll definitely take a sweet T-Law here. Number one overall pick. I don't, I highly doubt he's going to end up playing for me here this year. 123 out of 149. Just because I really don't know what he's going to do here coming up. But, all right, what else do we got here? Charlie Joyner is an insert. And we got a couple rookies. We got a Jamar Jefferson for my Detroit Lions. Justin Fields. Wow, this is a loaded pack. We'll definitely take that. And a Simi Fioku. And I'm going to save the kid reporter. Try not to show those off. I did have a commenter ask for some field reporters there. So any of those I get, I'm going to be uh, reaching out to you and giving it to you. So let's see. Let's make sure there's none on the back of this box. All right. We've got a Quentin Nelson. A Noah Fant. A Ronald Jones, the second. And it looks like we hit our auto. It's a Diami Brown. All right, wide receiver auto for Washington, huh? Deami Brown, I have to do some research on Mr. Deami Brown. See what he's got going on. But you know, they have, they have, who's their quarterback now? I don't even know, trash. Ryan Tannehill is a parallel QB, definitely like to see that. And our next numbered card is a Noah Fant, 54 out of 75, okay. Man, these boxes are just just awesome. <laughs> Highly recommend if you can get them to rip into these, man. Tons of numbered stuff. Tons of fun stuff, really. We got a timestamp to your Henry Ruggs. And now we're getting to our rookies. We got a Devontae Smith, 
Chris Evans and Kenneth Gainwell. Man, absolutely loaded. Love to see it. Love to see it. But yeah, this is going to be fun. Creating a fantasy lineup. Oh, God, Stafford, why? Why? I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to break this card just yet. Maybe when I set my lineup and put Tannehill in instead of him, I will. But for now, I want to check mashups. You know, you got to be smart. I'm trying to win in fantasy. You know what I mean? DeAndre Swift, Kenyon Drake, Devontae Adams. And our first parallel is a rookie card of a Kini Nuengu. Nuengu? Okay. And we did get a numbered season's greetings too. Awesome, dude. Devontae Smith, number 27 of 299. That is, man, these things are just the best. <laughs> just the best, dude. I love these fucking, I love these boxes. Um, and we did get another uh, Citizens Greeting Seal of Kadarius Tony. And it looks like we're going to get to our rookies next a Des Fitzpatrick, a Gary Brightwell, and a Josh Palmer. And I'll save the kid reporter. All right. Next pack, last pack, let's go. We need, uh, I think we need some more here, honestly. We need some more. Emmanuel Sanders, that's not going to get it done. Where's Stefan Diggs at? We got a T. Higgins, uh, Quinn and Williams, and our first numbered card in this pack here is a Zach Cunningham, number to 299, all right. And behind that, we've got an Alvin Kamara parallel. Let's go, okay, okay. Now, another numbered card here is an Aaron Donald. What? 10 out of 199. Let's go. Definitely. Definitely me using that guy. We've got a prestigious pros, Russell Wilson. And we are getting to our rookies here. We've got a Jacob Harris, Greg Newsom, and John Bates. All right. Well, that was, uh, that was a fun. That was fun. Couple of the hits real quick here before I pause. We've got this number Devontae Smith. We've got the Ricky Otto, Diami Brown, and this numbered to 149 Trevor Lawrence. That's a banger pull right there, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause, come back, and I will set my lineup in a little bit. Thank you. Alright, so we are back. <laughs> to set our lineup up for the first week. Week one lineup in the Fantasy Rip League here. We'll go ahead and start it off with defense. I Basically, you have a kicker or defensive player slot that you can use. I am going to be using this numbered Aaron Donald as a defensive player. Um, would it have been probably my best defense if I chose it? Yes, but it's also the best defensive player I picked. So I figured times three, I believe. Multiplier on Aaron Donald, not a bad bet. And as far as our defenses are concerned, um, basically we didn't get any like dominant defense here. I mean, I'm not going to take the Jets. Not going to take the Dolphins even at base number one there. We're not going to take the Browns at a base when we have them at a double multiplier here. So basically it came down to Houston and the Browns. And this Houston card is numbered. And they're playing the Jags week one. So we are going with Houston's defense on the numbered parallel there. All right. So moving on over to, might as well do the tight end next. Because this one was a pretty simple decision now. Uh, we basically pulled two Noah fans, a base and a numbered, and then a rookie, John Bates, for Washington. I'm not going to use the rookie. I know Noah Fant has some injury issues. but So if he is out, I'll have to switch to John Bates here. But... Uh, for now, we're going with the numbered Noah Fant at our tight end slot there. None of these are bookends or uh, jersey number cards or anything like that. So they're just basic numbered cards. So my first three slots are all times three multipliers, which is nice. That's why you got to love prestige. Now getting to our receivers, it um, not going to use the auto. Diami Brown might be their third receiver. I We don't know. Plus it's Washington and they kind of suck. So we're going to skip out on them. Um... Going forward now, I basically came down to two. Darius Slayton here. We had a bunch of rookie receivers. And I don't really want to use many. I'm already going to be using one, unfortunately, here. Because a lot of our cards were base receiver cards here, as you can see. Um, and they don't get many multipliers. I'm not going to use a base Henry Ruggs or a base rookie or a Brandon Cooks even 
T. Higgins was an option, but not when you have Devontae Adams sitting there. Emmanuel Sanders, no. So basically, it came down to these three. I'm going to play the number Devontae Smith card just because there's not a lot of options over there in Philadelphia. Hopefully, he has a good game. <laughs> and then it came down to Devontae Adams' base or Darius Slayton at times two with the parallel. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep thinking about that as we go here. Um, let's skip over to quarterback. Now, quarterback was a pretty easy one. Now, um, basically came down to two. We had this uh, paralleled Ryan Tannehill card. A couple other options here. And this numbered Justin Lawrence card. So now I can finally do this. See you, Stafford. Wish nothing but the worst for the Rams this year. Um, <laughs> uh, not going to start Trevor Lawrence. Just don't. He's going against my defense for starters if I were to start him. And I don't really know what to expect from him this year. So we are going to go with the paralleled Ryan Tannehill. Uh, times two multiplier, I believe, for our QB. Definitely nice to see. Just got Julio Jones this year. Hopefully, hoping for big things from good old Tennessee. Now, uh, running backs was a little easier. Um, again, didn't get a ton of great like world beaters. We did get Alvin Kamara. At times two there, so we're definitely going to play Alvin Kamara. And then it came down to basically, I mean, we had a parallel rookie behind Dalvin Cook. Not going to play him. Kenyon Drake. You know, it came down to my hometown team, DeAndre Swift versus Ronald Jones. With Leonard Fournette there, I decided to go with DeAndre Swift as my RB2 slot. Just did a one-times multiplier. We'll see what they can do. I don't have a lot of faith in the Lions going forward, but, you know... It is what it is. Now, I didn't want to have too many others at times one, but, I mean, Devontae Adams is the best receiver in football. We're going to play Devontae Adams, skip out on Darius Slayton, and there we go. There you got it. So, let me go ahead and bend the sound down so we can see it a little better, maybe. Maybe move it up. For FTF cards, first, official Fantasy Rip League lineup for week one. There you have it, folks. Thanks again, as always, for tuning in. If you haven't yet hit the sub button, drop a like on the video for me, please, and thank you. Peace.